I just had the incredible honor of meeting Jonah Gutenberg, founder of Creo. That was an amazing experience. I mean, you already know that Creo is not just another company. Our founder, Jonah Gutenberg, has a vision, a vision of a better world. We've all seen what has happened during our lifetime. This is not the future we were promised. Jonah saw the world deteriorate before his eyes. Not just the social economic problems, the divide between the haves and the have-nots. No, it was bigger. Crops were failing, sea levels rising, droughts, floods, storms. Our world was dying. Project Resolve designed not as a band-aid, but as a cure. With every launch, the integrity of our atmosphere is being strengthened. With every rocket's payload, our world is being reseeded for future generations. Jonah used his considerable influence to bring together world leaders and corporations to create the Kyoto Accord. No longer could the environmental changes be ignored. Many even deemed it too late. But Jonah had an idea, and using his company's extensive resources, he'd already prototyped what would become Project Resolve. And that's why you're here to make a difference. That's why Creo's here. That's why we're all here, to make a dream reality. Not just for us, but for our children, and for our children's children. Believe it or not, that was an amazing experience. I mean, Connection failure. Rerouting. Manual link established. Welcome to main production. Worker number. Database error. Let me show you around. Now, how may I help you? Let me show you around. Around. Seems you've got a screw loose somewhere. Thanks for your concern. Error. No loose screws found. Right. So, where is everybody? Unable to initiate link to CreoNet. No data available. Fabulous. Then where's operations? Information unavailable. Time to get to work. Let me show you the way. Terms of use and license agreement. How may I be of service? Uh, provided by Creo. I'd like to help. I'd like to help. I'd like to... Please, hold the line. Welcome. This unit is currently running on emergency power. Services are limited at the moment. We apologize for any inconvenience. to help.
to see you. Hello? Anyone there? Are you receiving? Please contact me if you can. Warren, I was starting to worry. I'm glad you're okay. Will you finally tell me who you are? Sally. I'm Sally, medical staff assigned to the executive forum. I'm isolated up here. Stuck, to be exact. Just trying my best to figure out how I can help. What the hell's going on here? There was some kind of incident, that's all I know. Hardly anything is working and your area is in lockdown. I'm trapped up in the executive forum. There's loads of distress beacons, but you're the only person I've managed to contact. We have to do something. Fine. I hope this qualifies for hazard pay. Okay then. We need to find out what happened. And we won't if we just stay here. We're in this together. And like it or not, we're on our own. At least for the time being. You tried calling for help? The system's locked down. There's no way I know to contact anybody outside. And it seems most comms are out apart from the ops. I better get going. Be careful out there. She said I should get to the executive but to help. safe there. Security forces have it locked down, but it's the getting there that's the problem. She said things will soon be under control, and they've asked for external aid. It, it tells you how serious things are gotten if they called for outside help. But you know what? It's fine. If they've got everything under control, I'm just gonna sit here and look terrifying enough listening to the noises, let alone being out there. I'm safe here. Look out for your fellow workers. They look out for you.
please. Anyone there? I'm locked in here. Please, come on, help me. Help. Please. Damn. Thanks, man. I thought I was stuck in here for good. Come on. Say something. You okay in there? I appreciate it, really. Thought I was gonna starve in here. Don't know how much longer I would have lasted. So tell me, what's your story? Name's Davey, man. I work on the Shell production line. Ran in here when those freaks started showing up. Didn't realize for hours the door was busted and I was stuck. Don't even know how long I've been in here. You know what's going on around here? You mean all this crap? No idea, man. Way above my pay grade. Something hit the system hard, that's for sure. Melted my damn neural link. It was like I was... Tripping and in someone else's head. Thoughts, memories, just not my own. Some weird shit going down. That's that's all I know. So what are you gonna do now? Dunno, man. Not staying out here, that's for damn sure. Maybe ops? Should be safe, right? So long. Later. Don't believe it. Hey, you! Over here! Please, my rig's out of juice. I'm a fucking statue here. Can't move a thing. Can you power it up and jumpstart me? It's just a jumpstart, man. Damn, thank you. Been sitting here so long, my ass is numb. Can't count how many times I've had to play dead out here. Nearly pissed my pants a couple of times. Uh, I'm Hobbs, Dean Hobbs. Uh, no, no one calls me Dean, so, you know, Hobbs is fine. What are you doing down here? Well, just being me. I mean, I'm maintenance. I sh should have left this stuff to security. But I thought, hey, Hobbs, let's find out what's going on here. Stupid, man. Just stupid. Wanted to check the fail-safe consoles, see what they recorded. Got separated from my crew, but I thought, Hobbs, don't give up now. You can make it. And that's when my rig gave out. What's your plan? I'm gonna get my ass out of here before it gets mashed like a bug in a windshield. Think I'll head up to Ops. Should be all right there. Guess you've got no idea what's going on around here. Shit, man. I don't know nothing. Felt like my brain was an egg on a griddle and then the yolk popped. <laughs> Woke up, head ringing like crazy. Everything had just gone to hell. What I'd seen since then. Uh, man, you wouldn't believe it. What's the deal with these failsafe consoles? Well, Creo's got a few around the factory to monitor problems and record them. There's sure to be some crazy stuff on them with all that's going down. And check them out if you want, but my adventure and days are done. So long, Hobbs. Stay safe, man. Stay safe. Failsafe protocol active. Log, mark 96 hours, 0 minutes, 
Zero seconds. Automatic system-wide reboot begun. Data loss analysis. Most Creo systems damaged. 27% of data storage and processing systems report complete data and record loss with low chance of recovery. Local non-networked power supplies remain operational. Recovery protocols activated. Damaged data sectors attempting temporary repair using analogous systems. Collateral loss of workforce is rated as extreme. Overall work output efficiency remains severely impaired, with all functioning personnel-related systems reporting significant neurological deviation and physical degradation. Functioning implants and rigs should be collected for refurbishment and redistribution to fully functioning human assets. How much time has passed? Minutes? Hours? Days? This place has fallen apart. I'm falling apart. I was told it wouldn't hurt. That the whole thing would be over in just a couple of minutes. But the pain when it started. I was awake. It cut open my flesh. Pierced into my bones. This is not a scheduled break time. Feel them. And I screamed. Just screamed until there was no air left in my lungs. But it didn't stop. It didn't stop. to help. 